Hello friends, in this video we will see common gate. So basically it is the CG configuration. So first we will have the circuit. I will make sure this circuit is of dual power supply. So the task becomes difficult, right? Then we will see for the DC analysis of that dual power supply to find the term GM. So that we can further go for the AC analysis and use this term GM in AC analysis to find various terms like AV, ZI, ZO. Now our second point is to do DC analysis. Why we do DC analysis to find the term GM. So let's see what is the equation of GM. GM is equal to 2KN VGS minus VTN. Now our task is to find VGS. Why? Because VTN is given in the question. KN is given in the question. So the only unknown term in this equation is VGS. So now our task is to find VGS. So let's see how we can find that. So our second step is to find VGS. The problem here is you cannot find VGS directly. So the next question is how we can find VGS. So this is the tricky part and you have to note this step, right? So first step, ID is equal to KN times VGS minus VT and the whole square. So this is the equation of ID when the MOSFET is in saturation region. So ID is KN times VGS minus VTN. You can see ID is unknown. VGS is unknown. So we have one equation between VGS and ID. Now we need another equation between VGS and ID so that we can simultaneously solve this and get the value of ID and VGS. So indirectly we will get the value of VGS. Simple. So let's see how we can get this. Now to get this, you have to make some KVL in this circuit, right? So how we can do that? Let's see. First, you have to note that where to apply KVL. Here we can apply KVL because the only VGS term present in this loop. Here there is no VGS loop, right? So we have to apply KVL in this loop. Now let's apply this. You have to note one more thing. The current flowing through this resistance is ID because IG is already zero and ID will flow through the entire circuit, right? It will flow from the upper side to the lower side. So the current flowing through RS is ID. Let's apply the KVL. So ID is flowing. So what will be the KVL? First we have voltage. So second sign is minus VGS. Then we have the resistance IDRS right because ID is flowing through this resistance then you have to make this as the symbol like this I have already mentioned in my previous videos minus voltage will be represented like this and plus voltage will be represented like this so now we have minus so we have to use this so what is the sign now you can see first sign is minus second sign is plus so we have to take the second sign. So plus, what is the value? Here we have phi. So plus phi is equal to zero. Now you can see that VGS is unknown, ID is unknown. Right, we have two equation. We have two unknown. So we will get the value of VGS and ID. So this is the DC analysis, how we can get the value of VGS. Now let's take a recap quickly. So basically in DC analysis, we have to find GM. GM equation is this, but the problem here is VGS is unknown, rest we know, but VGS is unknown. So our task is to find VGS. To find VGS, it won't be found directly from the circuit. We have to solve two simultaneous equation to get the value of VGS. First equation is of the, this is because of the saturation region of MOSFET. Second equation is using the KVL in the circuit. Now the third step is to find the mid frequency AC analysis of common gate. So the very first step you have to do is short the capacitor. The second step you have to do is ground the DC voltages. The important part is ground the DC voltage. So this voltage will remain as it is because this is input voltage, output voltage, but the capacitors are short and the DC voltage are ground. After doing this, we have to draw the AC analysis. So let's see how we can do that. In the left hand side, you can see there is a source area. So this is source, left hand side. In right hand side, there is a drain area. So this is drain. Now you can see at the bottom side, we have gate. So here we have bottom gate. And you can see that gate and ground are same. So gate and ground are same. 
so after drawing this line there is some simplicity let's say this is s line and i connect this here now why i did this to make things simple so the circuit will look simple and you can understand it better so the only purpose to draw this line is to make the circuit look simple now the first compulsory component we have is plus minus vgs the second compulsory component we have is the current flowing from d to s that is gm vgs now you have to look at the circuit and you have to plot the or let's say figure out the next part if we move to the left hand side of the circuit you can see that we have rs resistance and it is from source to ground so source to ground we have resistance rs if we move further we can see ri resistance here so here we have ri resistance and if we see the last part we have the input voltage so this is the vi input voltage if we move forward to the right hand side you can see that we have resistance rd from drain to ground so drain to ground we have resistance rd and from drain to ground we have again a resistance rl so this is resistance rl and extreme right we have the output voltage so this is v out now the important term is gain to find gain you have to note something first we will talk about av that is vo by vi whenever i talk about av this means that ri is not present and if ri present i will see that later what we have to do but the term will be avs if ri is present first i will talk about av where ri is not present so now let's see what we can do vo and vi so gain is vo by vi we have to find vo and vi first step is to find vo to find vo v is is equal to i into r so the current you can see is gm vgs and the resistance you can see is rd parallel rl so this is the output voltage this is the current and this is the resistance so vo is gm vgs into rd parallel rl now vi part is tricky part so you have to mark that how to find vi so the very first point you should know that vgs is vg minus vs the second point you should know that vg is grounded this means that the value of vg is equal to 0 so vgs becomes minus vs now this is important vgs is minus vs but you can see that the source side we have input voltage so vs is equal to vi so vs is vi this means that vi is minus vgs now this is a very important step you have to note this let's take a recap again vgs is vg minus vs but vg the voltage at the gate side you can see it is grounded so vg is equal to 0 so 0 minus vs again minus vs now when we talk about vs this means that the voltage in the source area so voltage in the source area is vi so vs is vi so if we note this step correctly then vi is minus vgs now we have vo we have vi so we have to divide this two i have made a some small mistake you have to note that vo is i into r correct but this i is flowing in the opposite direction so the value of this would be minus so minus gm vgs rd parallel rl so in final equation we will have minus here so this minus and this minus get cancel vgs vgs cancels so answer is gm rd parallel rl so this is the value of av so let's take a quick recap av is vo by vi vo is i into r where i is minus because it is in the opposite direction so minus gm vgs rd parallel rl but when we talk about input voltage there is a trick vgs is vg minus vs and we have to solve respectively so av is equal to vo by vi after cancelling the minus sign vgs term we are remain uh, the remaining part is gm and rd parallel rl now the important term again is we have avs right i said if ri is present what we can do the basic meaning of avs is avs is av into zi by zn now zn means the whole part from here zi means the input resistance rs zn means ri plus rs okay but the problem here we have is there is some resistance hidden here now that's why the value of zi cannot be just rs there is some hidden resistance here so zi 
is equal to rs parallel 1 by gm you have to note this this is the very important part in general zi should be rs but here there is a hidden resistance 1 by gm parallel to it so zi is rs parallel 1 by gm so what would be the z in value z in is you can see ri plus zi so this is the value of abs तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट